And so I want to remind you of the love and regard that you have for them and the ways that uh, you will be able to bless them in the future as their home grows uh, and as they learn uh, how to deepen their relationships. Would you pray with me? God, we ask you to join us now as we celebrate the marriage of Crystal and Carlos. May we be reminded that we human beings are always at our best in the company of others that we love, enjoy, and trust. We ask you to bless this marriage. Give it ample amounts of love and grace. May it be strong and enduring. 
protected from the forces that threaten it. In your name we pray this. Amen. Amen. Who gives crystal to be married to Christ? Mother and I. Crystal and Carlos, as you know, in a few moments we're going to be observing uh, some really wonderful Mexican customs in marriage. Uh, it's made me think a lot about the whole idea of how we human beings bless each other, how we bless each other through our difference, through our diversity, and how we bring to relationships different experiences, different culture, different interests, uh, all sorts of things like that that enrich relationship being formed. The unique things you each bring to this relationship are in many respects like rolls of varied colored thread. And your two lives are interacting in a way that is very similar to a loom, looming cloth. Warp is the long threads of this cloth. Um, warp provides the context and includes the major elements of your life, things that are your stable core that will always be there. Warp is career, it's mortgage, it's education, it's marriage, it's family and friends. Warp is what you set your alarm clock for every morning. Warp is how you organize your day. Warp is which goes on day by which is that which goes on day by day in very predictable ways. Warp is your raison d'etre, your reason for living. Warp gives dimension to your life. We already know how strong and important the family is to you. That's very, very obvious. Uh, it's, it's warp supplies strength to your relationship. In the same way, your careers are important parts of your life. Uh, you've invested a lot of time in creating them and, and uh, creating a, a way to make a living that is meaningful to you. The weft is the cross thread. It unifies the warp. Rather than the warp floating independently, weft weaves in and out of the warp threads, making it one quick piece of cloth, supplying the color and the pattern and things that make all of it interesting. Without weft, there's no pattern. Weft, warp by itself can't be worn. It can't fly like a flag. It can't dry you off when you step out of the shower or make you warm when you're outside on a cold day. Warp by itself is monochromatic only good for tying something up or rappelling down a mountain or tying a boat to a dock. Warp alone can't cover a couch, carry books, cover a dining room table, or hang on a museum wall. When someone says, get a life, they're really saying add some weft to your life. Add weft and things start to happen. Interesting patterns emerge, strength grows, relationships mature, Weft is passion, joy, surprise, and curiosity in a marriage. Weft is traveling to fascinating places. It's learning a new language. It's learning how to cook a new dish. Weft is growing in faith. It's conversation without cell phones or TVs in the way. Weft walks around your house in the shoes of a little child. And in generosity toward one another as well as those outside your home. Sometimes weft is a wonderful shelter that owns your home. The weft is um, a way of keeping the warp threads from becoming too dominant. Uh, career, for example, once left to itself can sometimes be a, a guiding factor, but weft uh, unites it and knits it back into the cloth that you're uh, weaving. That life without weft is shallow, boring, selfish, and vulnerable. Weft is woven through the warp by means of what's called a shuttle. I like to think of the shuttle as being determination and intention. Uh, it's the part of you that says we intend to go to the, go the distance. It's the part of you that says we want to be the best possible spouses to each other that we can be. 
We intend to never let another person or career or pastime or passion come between us. All of the parts of our lives weave together in a strong and uniting way. That's what the show is. The show draws the weft back and forth, and they can't, there cannot be a relationship without this work in a couple's life. Carlos and Crystal, in a moment, you will be making vows to each other. These vows are the, the beginning motions of two people saying, I choose you, and I want to leave my life to yours. Your investment in your relationship has been impressive and, and bodes well for the future of, of what you're building and the health that it has. Those seated here witnessing your vows will be cheering you on, they will be supplying encouragement and helping out when you call on them. And I pray that the Lord will bless your home uh, richly and in very, very rich ways. So, uh, Carlos and Crystal, we've asked for God's blessings on this home. And as a poignant reminder and representation of your marriage, uh, we're going to now engage in the lasso ceremony. So if you will, if you will kneel on those two. Um, This lasso is a symbol of the indissoluble love that you guys are building. It's a, a symbol of patience. It's a symbol of mutual devotion that will help you. These are great tools to have as you build this life as husband and wife for the rest of your lives. Before you make your promises to one another, I want to read you a portion of 1 Corinthians 13, uh, which is Paul's great description of love. It's a marvelous text. I've altered it a little bit just for you guys. If I could foresee the future, and if I could understand all God's secret plans, and if I had such faith that I could make mountains move, but didn't love you, I would be nothing. If I gave everything I have to the poor, I could boast about it, but if I didn't love you, I would have gained nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice when someone gets their comeuppance, but rejoices whenever the truth is spoken. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures forever. Uh, Carlos, I would like you to repeat after me. Why don't you hold this? Let's hold it. Crystal, I take you as my wife. I will always love you in times of blessing or heartache. I will always try to be patient and understanding. I will rejoice and weep with you and seek your welfare over my own. I will love you as myself 
and shield you from danger. And I will allow only death to break my covenant to you. And Crystal, would you repeat? Carlos, I take you as my husband. Carlos, I take you as my husband. I will always love you. I will always love you. In times of blessing or heartache. In times of blessing or heartache. I will always try to be patient. I will always try to be patient. And understanding. And understanding. I will rejoice and weep. I will rejoice and weep. With you. With you. And seek your welfare. And seek your welfare. Over my own. I will love you as myself and shield you from danger. And I will allow only death to break my covenant to you. And I think we're supposed to remove the lasso now. Is that correct? Now, by the laws of the state of California, by the intentions of God, our Father, I pronounce you as husband and wife. From now on, in commitment, love, life, and ambition. Would you all pray with me, please? Dear God, we pray now for Carlos and Crystal. We ask you to bless the love they have for one another. May it only grow in coming years, and may their respect and understanding for each other be enriched. May their virtue deepen. We pray that you will keep their home safe from things that cause pettiness and selfishness. And may their home be a place where faith, hospitality, joy, and warmth reign. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen.
Mary Kisses, my love son. you to uh, to just remain here there'll be music and things to drink and uh, just enjoy yourself while they take pictures we're glad you're here Oh, I got pictures. Oh, I got pictures. Okay. Yeah, pictures. Okay. Got the picture. 